Shakespeare wrote the play Richard III more than 100 years after the king's death. Now is the winter of our discontent. Three and a half centuries later, Hollywood gave its version. Well, now it's science's turn. The clarity and charity of the sun's licht. This digital avatar isn't an interpretation, it's a recreation. When it is poured on the other heavenly bodies. Basically as close as technology can get to the real thing. The Avatar is just the latest chapter in a project that started with a crazy sounding theory. Archaeologists believe the misplaced remains of Richard III were under a parking lot in the town of Leicester. Two shots this way, fellas. Richard was crowned King of England in 1483 and died three years later at 32 years old. Well, they found bones, but the final confirmation they were Richard was Canadian DNA, a direct descendant from London, Ontario. There is a direct female line of descendancy to my mother from Anne of York, Richard III's sister. Based on the skull, scientists were able to reconstruct Richard's face. Using DNA, they were also able to determine things like skin and hair color. That was about as far as they could go for a time. We, we were kind of just waiting for technology to catch up. Professor Carolyn Wilkinson is a facial reconstruction expert and part of the multidisciplinary team that put the avatar together. Be the girding on of the sword. They looked at the pronunciation of words in his time, his education, where he grew up, and then using his anatomy came up with the pitch and tone of his voice. And of the gold staff. The only thing they don't have is whether he had any idiosyncrasies, like a strange way of moving his mouth. That's the bit we're missing, is, is what's characteristic to him, and, and I don't know how we could possibly know that. <laughs> Finding the remains has helped experts rule out some of the myths about Richard. For example, he didn't have a limp or a hunchback. Much of that's based on Shakespeare. I've determined to honor. It is now being corrected by science. Mike Armstrong, Global News, Montreal.